CVS announced big plans for a major overhaul focusing on more patient care. But concerns are on the rise as their pharmacists face burnout and are staging walkouts on the job. Reporter Thomas Lee joined us with more. Thomas, thank you for being here. What are the CVS big ambitions? Well, as you know, they have a lot of pharmacies. They got like 9,000 pharmacies and people go in there and they go to the pharmacy, but they also buy a lot of stuff, so they're retail stores. But CVS wants to really move away from that. They are trying to brace what uh, in health reform uh, culture is called value-based healthcare, in which they get paid for the outcome of uh, treating patients rather than just getting paid just to service them. And what that means is that they envision turning their stores and whatnot into what they call these healthcare clinics, where there are pharmacists using technology kind of collaborate with doctors, patient, uh, doctors, uh, home health care workers, nurses to kind of collaborate on really helping the patient manage the health care. So that requires a tremendous amount of transformation and they've been buying a lot of other companies to help them kind of get into this sort of uh, model and it's just a very, very big corporate uh, strategic makeover. But it sounds like it's a makeover well worth having. Yeah, you know, it's, that's a good point because value-based uh, healthcare, as I mentioned before, has been a buzzword for a lot of years for people who wanted saying that we, re, we need to remake the current U.S. healthcare system because it's just driven by, I get paid based on the uh, the volume of services that I give you. But, you know, no one cares about whether that services work. So they really feel like that this is the moment to really focus on, am I really helping the patient rather than just keep writing drugs and recording mm -hmm. up tests? And, but the idea is that everyone collaborates. It's like a holistic sort of collaboration between a doctor and a pharmacist and a home health care worker to really help the patient improve their health. So. But you need the pharmacists on board, and currently the pharmacists are staging walkouts and feeling like too much pressure is being put on them. Why are the pharmacists currently feeling overworked, underappreciated at CVS? Well, I think it's important to remember that traditionally, at least over the past uh, decade or so, there has been a shortage of pharmacists working in these retail stores. So since COVID happened, suddenly not only are they doing their, uh, their normal duties of writing prescriptions, but now they're administrating vaccines, they're uh, handing out uh, tests, they're talking to their uh, customers who have many questions about um, COVID, and then you throw in the environment that they're in. Now remember, pharmacies operate inside of stores. So it's the pandemic that we have seen a wave of crime affecting not just CVS, but also Rite Aid, Walgreens, all these other retail stores, which has forced these pharmacies to actually start putting ordinary items like shampoo and toothpaste under lock and key. Right, So that doesn't sound like a conducive environment to actually have serious discussions about your health care. You have uh, pharmacists who are overworked, they don't have enough staff operating in this rather sort of high pressure, chaotic environment. So then how does CVS handle these changes? They have their big ambitions, they have a current staff of pharmacists that feel overworked and a lack of pharmacists to hire. What's going to happen? Well, I think with any sort of uh, company or industry going through massive changes, there's going to be a lot of uh, a period of pain, perhaps, <laughs> right? And and I think that what they're going to have to do, and what they say they've been doing, is they're trying their best to uh, help the pharmacists, to train them, to give them support and whatnot. But it just seems like there's a growing kind of disconnect between what CBS says on the, the big, broad, strategic level and what's happening right now in its retail stores. How this new kind of model comes together, I don't know. But all I do know is that the pharmacists play a key role in it. So I think that, I mean, the, the, I mean their number one priority is try to retain the pharmacists that they do have, right? But we'll, we'll see what happens. So. Reporter Thomas Lee, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. For Boston Globe Today interviews delivered straight to your inbox, be sure to sign up for our newsletter at bostonglobe.com slash BGT.